Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing good. It's a little cool in here. I need to sure to turn the heater on. I don't think it would heat it up in time now. And that other one, I try not to use that. Just a regular little fan that has a, I mean a little heater that has, that has a little fan in it, you know. You can hear it running. That thing, it uses a lot more electricity than the like the radiator ones, like over here that we got, that one. Those don't use hardly, I bet half as much is that for some reason as that one. I guess because that one has like coils in it, you know, you can see them get red and they heat up and then the fan just blows the air. Yeah, that thing's always, it's good to have one for like when you take a shower or something, if you want to heat it up quick in there, you know, because uh, we don't put the, Big, the radiator ones in there in the bathroom so we use it there so anyway uh today is monday march 13th currently it's 31 degrees that's what i'm saying and high is 47 uh chance of precipitation gosh that could almost be snowing at that range uh 50 67 percent winds are at eight mile per hour so it makes it feel colder you know and there's a warning, uh, there's a freeze watch through tomorrow, through Tuesday. Um, so anybody that has any plants out in this area at least, you, you might want to cover them up. I mean, I know my, like I was talking about the other day, my grape hyacinth came up out front. And they're real little ones, but they've always been like that. They're not like the big ones. But um, they come up every year, so I don't know if that'll, that might kill them. They might already be dead. I don't know. Seems like it can make it through when it's just near freezing, but any, you know, real cold, it, it'll kill them. Maybe it'll kill some of the, like, dandelions already starting to try to grow and stuff. We're going to have to mow pretty soon. So I'm going to be trying out my new mower, my new push mower. Wish we had a new rider, but they are so expensive now. I'm hoping ours will make it another year. We've had it a long time with, like, at least 12 years we've had it. And I, I can't believe it's lasted that long, this big yard. So we always pray each year it'll be okay, you know. <laughs> kind of like the furnace back here. Okay. Um, last night we had pizza and salad. The pizza from Kroger, it's really good. They're self-rising. They are a lot like DiGiorno's. I don't have any idea if DiGiorno makes them or not. You know, someone has to make them for them, and they look a lot like them, and they taste a lot like them, so I, but I'm not for sure. But it is good, and it's um, even regular price is about um, almost $2, I think, cheaper than a DiGiorno is at regular price. And we had a dollar coupon off it, off of the Kroger one, too, so that helped. Um, tonight, we're thinking Sloppy Joe's. We got some uh, nice buns. They're a uh, private selection. Um, I thought they were sitting right here. Here they are. I'll show you. These are great with Sloppy Joes or burgers or anything. Um, these private selection buns are all really good at Kroger. Their bread, I'm not really that crazy about. Like their loaf bread, it always seems half stale, even though it's got a good date. You know, uh, you know a lot of them, I'm sure it comes in frozen, you know. And a lot of a lot of them are doing that too. But these are the onion extra large enriched sandwich rolls, the private selection. That's what we'll be using. And they're super soft. Um, put them over here so Kitty doesn't get them. Hi, Kitty. You were laying on the couch. What happened? You want to come in here? You're probably wanting something. Say, so, sit down. Sit down for a bit. Okay, uh, yeah, sloppy joes and fries. I might fix some slaw with that Duke's uh, slaw dressing. And um, let's see. Today, I don't guess I said, today there's going to be a massive Dollar Tree haul. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the walkthrough, and you'll basically be shopping with us. I showed the right at the front, you know, as you go in on the right, it was is all the seasonal stuff, so they had all this Easter stuff. I showed all it, but I went ahead and walked through the store as we shopped, and uh, there's a nice, nice long walk through. 
Um, and of course, we ended up with a lot of stuff. So I've got a massive Dollar Tree haul <laughs> today. Um, okay. Uh, I was I got an idea. I was helping um, Kim from Kim Loves Artie and, and one of her friends she was talking to about how to uh, what how to video of doing it. Oh, I'm thinking of doing a how to video on how to change your thumbnail. Um, you can like if y'all have seen me and I'll do it right now. Like y'all have seen me say, okay, I'm gonna take a picture. You know, you take a picture. If you take a picture while you while you're recording and your phone's turned sideways, not up straight up and down, it will automatically be the right size for a thumbnail. Any other picture you're gonna have to make, you know, you're gonna have to condense it a little bit or crop it as they say and make it, you know, to fit. I think it's like sixteen nine or something like that. Sixteen to dot dot nine or something. Um, yeah. So you can you take your pictures. Any, you can use any picture, but if you're doing it, you know, while you're doing a video, uh, you just, you can either pause it and take your picture with the phone icon, or you can do it while it's rolling. I, I mean, I just, pr just press it, it'll take it. And then it's in your gallery, you know, from then you can edit it. Uh, most phones have an editing, uh, I, I don't know if you call it editing app or whatever. They, uh, or you can upload one, but um, for download one, I mean, upload, download one. That's right. Uh, so you know, before you get to where you use it, on I'll go over this all again. I'm just telling you the first part. You do everything you need to do in your gallery to make it like you want it. Like y'all see me add uh, maybe something that says uh, like a picture of Walmart's logo you know or any other things like that you can add them or you can of course add words you know and stuff to it get it the way you want it i'm saying before you start doing your uh your changes and i'll i'll go over that when i do the video and everything and i'll you know talk more about it um but i was hoping you know maybe it would help some of you some of y'all that you know i didn't know how to make a uh, uh, change a thumbnail for probably a year you know I never I never really asked anybody and I it, I actually just ended up figuring it out pretty much on my own thinks one one person did help me I, I can't remember for sure um, but uh, you know I figured it out it took a while for me so I know a lot of y'all maybe that hadn't been doing this very long you'd love to have a better looking thumbnail than the one they provide uh, you know they provide I think one and then they have like three choices not on shorts though or something like that and they're always like you know it'd be like this or something you'd be like or talking or something you know they're not like you really want so if you're interested in that let me know and i'll uh, i'll probably go ahead and do that for one day it might be a while before it comes out okay i got one uh, nice news today and it says, Texas Town unveils new illuminated playground this summer. Shows ghosts <laughs> uh, with sheets over them or something. <laughs> uh, that's not the playground, I don't think. Farmers Branch in Texas will debut a unique playground that illuminates at night this summer called Joya. It will be 18,000 square feet in size and contain a 27-foot rope sphere and various entertainments. Using interactive lighting, lighting features, the park will come alive at night, allowing children and families to play along after the sun has set. You after my coffee? Hmm? Say. Okay. So that's that. And I've got a... They, this is a manager specials for a grocery outlet. Hey, you. Uh, here's what it looks like. This time, it's different. It's, there's no food in this one. It's like cleaning supplies and stuff. And I'm not for sure which brand this is. I think it's Lysol, this first one. It says $1.99. And, you know, anything Lysol, uh, anything Lysol is going to be really high. And uh, 
So that's a dollar ninety nine. I'll show it to you in a second. And then they got a bleach. It's a forty three ounce jug, so it's not the gallon jug for a dollar. And uh, these eraser cleaning. I think they're Mister Clean or something. No, I can't remember. I had some, but I, I already took the box out of it. You know, took it out of the box. I can't remember. It's Comet, maybe, or something. What you doing, huh? You trying to find a place to lay? Come over here. Come over here. This way. This way. Over this way. Come this way. There you go. Now, you got plenty of room. She's like, forget it. I'm out of here. Um, yeah, I think it's Comet, if I'm not mistaken, or Ajax or Comet that are cleaning pads. So that's the first three things. I'm pretty sure this is Lysol. You can see like an L right there, I believe. Yeah, right right there. You can see kind of. So that, I, I saw that in Walmart, but I didn't look at the price. But but everything Lysol is like super expensive. A dollar for the bleach. There's those cleaning eraser things. It works fair. I wouldn't say it's any miracle thing or anything, but a dollar. That's for four count. This one only had one in it. <coughs> so a dollar for four count, that's pretty good. 25 cents each. You, you could use them and throw them away or whatever after they're done. Or, you know, if you used them a little while. I don't know how long they last, really. Um, that's the first time I ever got one. And they've got these uh, triple roll paper towels. Seven forty nine. They've got all purpose bleach cleaner, a dollar twenty nine, and I can't tell what that is. I can't tell, and it's a name brand, and a toilet bowl cleaner. It, it's an off brand, but it's seventy nine cents. I saw those the other day when we went. Um, they got multi surface cleaner refill, twenty six ounce for a dollar twenty nine. And I can't tell what that is either. These are like the jumbo rolls. It says it's equal to 18. Uh, I don't know about that, but if it is, that's a good deal for $7.49. And then this here is the all purpose bleach cleaner. And I can't tell. Can y'all tell what that is there? It's hard to tell underneath it what it is. There's an, This looks the same, I, I think, as this one. Or maybe not. But there's a cleaner refill, multi-surface. So, they're, they're actually pretty good deals. Yeah. So, that's the manager specials. Uh, I think it's good through Tuesday. It's good through tomorrow. So, hmm, just a few days. Uh, okay, I, let me see if there's any um, nice news. Okay. Okay, here's one. This 13-year-old world championship climber scales ice walls. Wow. Meet Landers Gaydosh, an ice climbing world champion who has competed across the globe by climbing up slippery ice walls using long handled hammers with blades. In January 2022, at the Ice Climbing World Youth Championships in Switzerland, he scrambled all the way to the top of an 80-foot tall ice wall. Wow. And bested the others in his category by 20 seconds. The most impressive part, Landers, is only 13 years old. I really enjoy climbing ice because I have to rely on myself, and it's really fun when you get into a rhythm. The Salt Lake City team tells Nice News, adding, I also like traveling to climb because I get to see new places, eat different foods, and I get to meet a lot of really cool people from other countries. That's awesome. Just last month, Landers once again competed in the, on the international level at the UIAA Ice Clamp Climbing World Youth Championships. Ooh, that's a lot of words. In 2023, in Olu, Finland, where he took home another gold medal. Wow. Oh. Okay, this is kind of neat too. 
Lonely widowed geese get matched up and haven't left each other's side since. Aww. Because I think they mate for life, you know. Uh, it says geese are among the animal species that mate for life in the wild. But what happens when one bird is left without its partner? That recently happened to blossom a goose at Iowa's Riverside Cemetery whose mate bud died in August. General Manager Tori Hammond said, Blossom's behavior changed after the loss, so she set out to find her some much-needed company. Taman put out a personal ad from Blossom's point of view. Lonely widow domestic goose seeks life partner for companionship and occasional shenanigans. Come share life with me at Riverside Cemetery, it read, for CBS News concluding, I'm youthful, adventurous, and lively, and I've been told I'm beautiful. <laughs> Couple Deb and Randy Hoyt responded saying that their similarly lonely widow or goose Frankie might be a good match for Blossom and the rest is history. They started walking off together and they haven't really left each other's side since. Oh, that's neat. Let's see if they've got a quote today. Sometimes they don't have them. Okay, here's one from Khalil Gibran. Beauty is not in the face. Beauty is a light in the heart. Amen. That's awesome. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this morning's coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning, great day. And I'll see you later on with a massive Dollar Tree haul. Bye, everyone, and God bless.